Well, yet another extraordinary day in Canadian politics. Doug Ford stepping in to continue what his brother, at least for now, cannot. Joining us with reaction from Toronto is the CBC's Stephen D'Souza. Stephen, you uh, have, have covered this story for so long, but I'm curious about the moment you got the news this morning that Rob Ford was withdrawing. How did you get that news and, and, and what was your reaction? Well, it was quite a huge surprise. Uh, the reports coming from uh, our colleagues at City Hall. I was spent uh, most of the day at the hospital uh, where Rob Ford uh, has been resting for the last two days. And it was just fascinating to see this decision come about because covering Rob Ford over the years, we saw him go through so many cases where any normal politician would not have remained in the job. And throughout the height of the crack video scandal, there were times where people thought, Rob Ford should step aside and he continued on and you knew at a certain point that he was either being stubborn but he also at a certain point you could tell really loved what he did and that politics was truly his life and being mayor was the most important thing to him and so for the fact that he had to step aside means that whatever illness that he is dealing with is very serious, serious enough that he felt he had to step aside and that's what really came across in a statement that he put out earlier today and I want to read from you a bit of that which speaks to what I was just saying and what Rob Ford wrote in his statement is now I could be facing a battle of my lifetime and I want the people of Toronto to know that I intend to face this challenge head on and win with the advice of my family and doctors I know I need to focus on getting better there is much work to be done and I can't give it my all at this point in time my heart is heavy when I tell you that I'm unable to continue my campaign for re-election as your mayor so a major surprise, Ian, of course, a story that has had so many twists and turns. Rob Ford's time as mayor, I don't think anyone could have ever predicted that we'd be where we are tonight with Doug Ford running instead of his brother. And Doug saying today in his speech, this is something that many families across the country have dealt with, the suddenness of the news, going one moment from, you know, your regular schedule to the next moment in a hospital bed and, and nervous about what you're going to hear from the doctors next and, and sort of... In the shadow of all of this, the tight municipal political deadlines, the Fords had to make a tough decision today. That's right, and it's very interesting because I was at the hospital today and we could see the comings and goings of the mayor's family and his staff members. And so around 12.30 is when Doug Ford, along with uh, many members of the Ford campaign, along with the nephew, Michael Ford, who stepped aside to allow Rob Ford to run in his uh, local council seat, it was around 12.30 or so that we saw them all leave the hospital. And that's when they went to City Hall and that's when the papers were first filed. But it really was a mad scramble because all of the paperwork wasn't quite in order. And at one point in the day, we saw another counselor. His name is Peter Leon, and he made a brief appearance at the hospital, and he was accompanied by the mayor's spokesperson. And at the time, we really weren't quite sure why he was there. Peter Leon later told uh, members of the City Hall Press Gallery that he actually came to notarize and observe the mayor signing some of the official documents that helped in this transition. So that goes to show you that this took place between 1 and 2 o'clock. And so that shows you with a 2 o'clock deadline for filing these papers just how close they came in terms of, of missing this deadline and how much of a scramble it was. And so given the health condition of Rob Ford right now, and all of the work that needed to be done, it just gives you a sense of just how much of a scramble this all was. You know Doug Ford can be combative. He can be an attack dog on behalf of, of his brother, the mayor. What did you think of the side we saw today in the speech? That's right. We see a lot of different sides with Doug Ford. Of course, we see, as you mentioned, the combative side, the attack dog side, and that's often the side we see when dealing with harsh questions from the media or, you know, the long, slow process of City Hall, which he often gets frustrated with. But today, when dealing with his brother and oftentimes when talking about Rob Ford, we see the softer side of Doug Ford and we could see him talking about the boy that he grew up with, the, the man that he's talked politics and run a business with, they've hosted a radio show together, they've been through thick and thin, and now having to step in, knowing what a difficult decision it must have been for Rob Ford to step aside, for Doug Ford now to take these shoes, uh, no matter what the cynics might say about, you know, whether this was premeditated or how long this was in the works, definitely a difficult decision for any family, uh, no less than the Ford. So Doug Ford having to take on this decision and now having to carry the mantle uh, that carry the legacy is in his words of Rob Ford. Well, nice work again tonight, Stephen. Uh, thank you very much. You're welcome.